Hello everyone and welcome to my Bachelor Nation 24 channel, I hope. Everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Curse of Oak Island Recap Have the team finally discovered the entrance to the money pit? On the Curse of Oak Island this week, have the team finally discovered the entrance to the legendary money pit? It certainly looks like a serious possibility. The episode saw the treasure hunting team lead by Rick and Marty Legina continue their quest to uncover a man-made connection between the pit and Smith's Cove. One week ago, wooden beams dating back to 1735 to 1784 were found in the cove at a depth of more than 50 feet. The team took this as possible evidence that they may have hit a main flood tunnel. Based on the evidence, this week they continue to drill exploratory boreholes just above the beach. In the target zone, a core sample near the cave and pit reveals sand which could be evidence of a manifestation of a bygone tunnel, according to geologist Terry Matheson. The discovery is deemed important enough to call Marty, and when he arrives at the site he exclaims in anticipation, it's a beautiful day on Oak Island. As Marty examines the spoils, Rick can't help but note, the irony is there is no wood in the sample. Nonetheless, he adds that this may be the one thing, the clue that could solve the 200 years plus Oak Island mystery once and for all. Next, they take a sample five feet to the west, at a depth of 108 feet. The core sample contains some sand, but nothing that would point to anything resembling a tunnel, according to Terry, who describes the spoils as unremarkable. The team is disappointed, and they decide to ditch the current random drilling operation in favor of seismic scanning in the hopes of finding more promising targets. Later, the team from seismic scanning team from Eagle Canada arrive to map underground anomalies in a bid to finally locate the elusive money pit. Their ambitious goal involves setting off a hopping 18,000 dynamite charges, which will create sound waves that can be measured as they travel through the Earth. Based on the sound wave data, a master map of tunnels and voids as deep as 300 feet down will be created. Meanwhile, the team find time to meet with naval historian and author Chip Reed in the war room, where he sheds new light on the possible purpose of the mysterious man-made structures at Smith's Cove. He shows the team an old map of Oak Island, and on it they recognize the mysterious L-shaped structure unearthed last year. Chip believes that the structure could be evidence of a military fortification known as a water battery, and be connected to what is known as the Louisbourg treasure that is associated with Nova Scotia. He tells the team that if this is the case, they may actually be looking for some kind of a French treasure, based on his research. In response, Marty asks the team's historians to investigate any possible lead based on Chip's assertion. Elsewhere, members of the team head out to Lot 27, once owned by Daniel McGinnis. Evidence left behind suggests that McGinnis himself searched on the lot for treasure tunnels leading to the legendary treasure vault. Three weeks ago, ancient rock drilling tools called swages, as much as 600 years old, were found on nearby Lot 21 also owned by McGinnis. Metal detecting expert Gary Drayton finds a promising area for Jack Begley to dig, and they find what Gary terms an iron chisel. Look at that, he says, definitely looks old. He surmises that the chisel could have been used for tunneling, perhaps in tandem with the swages, and estimates it could date back to the 1400s. In response, the team decide to further investigate what could be beneath Lot 21 using ground-penetrating radar. When the ground-penetrating experts arrive on site, they find an anomaly four feet down. Could this be a void or a tunnel? The anomaly is four feet wide, and Craig Tester remarks that there are a couple of known wells in the area, although he concedes that finding this anomaly is promising. Lastly, the team gather at the southern shore of the island with the goal of finding a wooden sluice weighty that connects to Shaft 9, thus indicating the location of the money pit. Dan Hensky, whom Rick declares is the sage, the royalty of Oak Island now, has recommended this operation based on his knowledge of the island. Marnie operates the heavy equipment machine and soon finds a buried pipe. 
He continues to dig until the teens see water pouring into the dugout earth through a hole. Examining the mud, they find wood and clay and determine that they have found the 159-year-old sluice referenced by Dan Hinsky. Marty yells, holy smokes, saying this could be one of the most important discoveries of the year. Have the team finally made a major breakthrough, uncovering a searcher shaft which will lead them to a centuries-old vault. Beneath the dense canopy of oaks, where the wind whispers secrets and shadows dance, the team on the curse of Oak Island stands on the cusp of a revelation that has eluded treasure hunters for over two centuries. The enigmatic money pit, that fabled vault of untold riches and legendary traps, has become more than just an obsession. It's a part of the island's very soul. And now, after years of relentless digging, scanning, and theorizing, it seems the team might finally be on the brink of unearthing the entrance to this elusive treasure trove. The episode begins with a sense of anticipation hanging in the air. The Lagina brothers, Rick and Marty, along with their dedicated team of experts, have gathered at the latest excavation site. Their faces are etched with a mixture of hope and caution, the weight of history pressing down on them. This is not the first time they felt close, but something is different this time. The clues, the data, the whispers of the past, all seem to be converging towards this moment. The camera pans across the site, capturing the intricate machinery and the muddy trenches that crisscross the landscape. The team has zeroed in on a specific area, a section of the island that has shown signs of significant human activity. Recent sonar scans have revealed a large, cavernous void beneath the surface, one that aligns with the historical descriptions of the Money Pit's location. It's as if the island itself is finally surrendering its secrets, piece by piece. As the drilling rig comes to life, the team holds its collective breath. Every inch of soil removed brings them closer to the truth, or so they hope. The drill bites into the earth, churning up centuries of sediment, each layer a chapter in the island's mysterious history. The tension is palpable. Even the birds seem to hold their song in suspense. Hold up, comes the call from the rig operator, and the drill screeches to a halt. Everyone rushes forward, hearts pounding. The core sample is carefully extracted, revealing a dark, compactive layer of wood. It's ancient, weathered, and unmistakably man-made. The excitement is electric. Could this be part of the original cribbing used to secure the money pit? Rick examines the sample closely, his eyes narrowing in thought. This is different, he murmurs, almost to himself. It's not like the other wood we found. This could be from the original structure, maybe even from the flood tunnel system. The possibility hangs in the air like a spark ready to ignite. Marty, ever the pragmatist, tempers the enthusiasm with a dose of caution. We need to verify this, he says, already reaching for his phone to arrange for immediate carbon dating and analysis. But if this is what we think it is, we could be looking at the entrance to the money pit. As the team waits for the results, the show delves into a fascinating montage of historical reenactments and expert interviews. We see the early treasure hunters of the 18th century, their eyes gleaming with the promise of gold as they dig deeper into the earth. Unaware of the cunning booby traps laid by whoever, or whatever, built the money pit, we hear from historians who recount tales of secret societies, pirate hordes, and perhaps even the lost treasure of the Knights Templar. Each theory, each story, adds another layer to the enigma that is Oak Island.